And so gradually people are getting more and more used to it and trying it out. So, uh, yeah, it's not, we've got like more people kind of filtering onto our Beard Guys community arc server, which is nice to see. Oh, Karakin, wow. I feel like this is the first Karakin game I've had, apart from the ones um, Lamb and I did with like 62 bots last week. <laughs> Yeah, I've been really enjoying the arc. That's been uh, that's been good fun. Good fun. Nice to break up the PUBG a bit as well. I think if you you know, if you sit there and play the same game like every day, every stream, weeks and weeks on end, you know, it's nice to kind of mix it up a bit, and then you enjoy the you enjoy the stuff you do play a bit more. I think. Yeah, we might we might play some Daisy at some stage. I don't know. I, it was okay when I played it before, but um, yeah, I don't think it'd be time for it in the schedule right now. Rust will be fun for the community. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're really looking forward to. We're playing Ark at the moment, but as soon as Rust comes out on Xbox, we're going to be jumping straight on that. And hopefully we can have, like, a Beard Guy server on that as well, which would be neat. Um, but, yeah, I am I'm, I mean, I'm hoping there might be some information about it today, but I'm not... It's probably not super likely, but... Um, they are doing, like, a big announcement of lots of, like, Xbox Series X stuff today. Um... like gameplay or announcing like titles that are going to be out and that kind of thing um so we might i don't know what the i need I, i've been trying to find out like what the the rules are for like restreaming that that's at like four which is when our twitch front page slot finishes so we could potentially like try and watch a bit of it on stream but i don't know if we're allowed or not really what is rust about um it's just a uh it's a survival game really like um i guess like like arc like daisy like Conan. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's There's no dinosaurs and there's no zombies. It's very, like, PvP-focused. It's been out on PC for years. It's it's pretty... There's lots of, like, videos and stuff knocking about you can uh, check out. But we watched some videos, like, some Yogscast videos of it, I don't know, a couple of years ago, maybe, when we used to watch a bit more Yogs. And, um, and it looked really fun for, like, you know, interactive community silliness. So, uh... Yeah, we're kind of uh, we're looking forward to giving it a go. One of those games that was that has a bit like DayZ, really. That was out on PC for ages before it's due to come out on Xbox. So it's only really a new game to us, but it's uh, you know it's been around for a long time in the PC community. Hey Rick, how you doing? Not smiling, uh, Chief, how you doing? Old guy, how you doing? W O O T. Uh, Inhibited Fawn, thank you for the four-month resub. Cheers, mate. How you doing, Fawn? The 62-bot game was funny, though. It was funny, yeah. I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, have a little look. It's It got announced, like, late last year that it was going to come out on... Um, on console this year or on Xbox? I think on. Um, let's take the Vecchi, even though we ain't got the extended. There's a lad up there we just saw. Um, yeah, even though. You coming down? Oh, there's another guy there. God's sake. <laughs> Is that a, I'm pretty sure that was a bot. And that guy just like stole my bot kill. If you're that guy not just smiling, completely ignored me. To you. I see you. Gotcha. Uh, I am Drew. Thank you for the 25 month resub, Drew. How you doing? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Jay Harley, how you doing? Fotek, how you doing? Hope Rust comes to Game Pass. I think it is coming to Game Pass. And they said when it originally was teased, they said it's just going to come straight to Game Pass. Which should be awesome. Do, 
This, 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 this. Thank you, thank you. Did some stuff, didn't he? Um, oh yeah, so there's something I wanted to talk about, about bots, right? Maybe it's easier in between games, but we'll, maybe we'll use this one as a a little tester for it. I don't know, we could do it. Maybe we'll do look at a bit of it when we're on the front page. Um... But I was watching a video that um, Disco sent to me. Uh, I can't remember the name of the YouTuber, but I'll, I'll look it up after this and um, share his name. But uh, he was just someone who did some analysis of uh, sort of speculating on how bots, um, how they dropped and stuff and how the bots kind of appeared in game and that kind of thing. Um... And it was quite interesting because it wasn't quite what... So a couple of times... Uh, what's up, Pub Brothers? How you doing? Avocado, how you doing? Lovely to see you. Brains, how you doing? So it was quite interesting because... I, like a couple of times... I remember like Matt and a couple of people had said... I feel like bots are just sort of appearing next to me in the middle of a field. And I was like, no, no. They drop down. They drop down. They don't just appear. Um, but then... Uh, this guy... What he did basically is he looked at his... You know the 2D replay things you can do on, um, like, PUBG lookup and stuff where it shows you a sort of bird's eye view of your PUBG replay and little dots for all the players and where they move throughout the game. And you can just sort of see all the player movement um, over the course of a match. And sort of from him looking at a couple of games, I haven't looked at any of mine. We need to do it and see how it looks. But he looked at some of his games and what he saw was that it was a load of, you know, there's questions about how accurate that is for for bots over real players the api might just be being weird but um when he did it there was like a wave of bots that kind of came in off the side of the map as the plane flew in and then a bit later there were some more ones these had all these dots kind of coming in the side of the map and sort of slowly moving across and there were like three waves of them and basically there was this there was ones that dropped out what if they, the ones that dropped out the plane and there was like this first wave that all landed in the first circle. Then there was another wave that all landed in the second circle. And I think there was maybe a third wave that all landed in the third circle. And it's not definite. I need to look at it myself. But it suggested that maybe the bots arrive as the game progress. Some bots arrive as the game progresses rather than just dropping all over the map at random at the start. And then like dozens dying to the play zone. It looked as if maybe they arrive a bit late. Some of them arrive a bit later to fill out the later circle. So when you're in a second or third zone and a bot suddenly pops up next to you, I think that might be because that bot maybe has literally just appeared or maybe come up from the floor. I don't think they're parachuting in late game, but I think they might appear with loot as well. So that's kind of... Um, that seems to be seems to be the case i'd be interested to dig around and um and the m249 i mean we're kind of set up i mean we could use it for the 3x couldn't we i suppose do that um yeah so that looks like that might be a thing which is kind of interesting um we'll have to have a little uh a little dig i think maybe we'll try and look at some of our games on pubg lookup today might be interesting to see is this the way we came in no. Is it this way? Yeah. Yeah, which would line up with why you see a lot of bots with quite similar loot. The... Because I first thought maybe there's something in that um, before I saw this video, but when I was playing with Chris Katera last week and we were just shooting bots in the field and then there was that one that was just suddenly running like in between the two of us kind of away from us and it looked like they must have just run in between us they were just you're a bot maybe not a bot surprised he tanked that and whatever had hit him previously i assumed it'd been k9 so i just tried to finish him uh yeah so that that bot felt like he'd um you know, he had maybe appeared. So kind of interested to look at that. 
that sound plausible to people in chat? Got a good hit, didn't he? How you doing, Sean? Nice to see you. Uh, Mr. McFly, how you doing? King Dana, how you doing? Infected, how you doing? Oh, hello. You a bot? You sounded a bit botty earlier. Not a bot. Not a bot. What's up, Beast of Man? How you doing? You've never seen a bot loot. Yeah, I mean, I guess I haven't really seen bots looting. I've seen, um... Wow, with an org. Prone with the org. Um... Yeah, I, have a, I guess I haven't really seen bots looting. But I've seen them unarmed. I've seen them with nothing. I've seen them drop. Because we saw them on Karakin. When we had the game on Karakin, um, when me and Lamb had like all bots in the lobby, the 62 bot lobby, and we landed similar to where I landed in that game. And I heard we saw people, we saw bots dropping out of the plane when we came, and they just kind of dropped down with their parachute. There's, so there's some that definitely come out of the plane, and they don't like lean forward or anything they just kind of drop straight down with their parachute like a little you know plastic toy army man um and i heard one of them land next to me and then went out and he was running around with no kit so those ones that arrive arrive with nothing and i think they do go and loot things but um i think there's then a, a second and third wave of um of bodies I wish the bots had clear bot names. Yeah, I mean, you can you can sort of guess a bit, but it's, yeah, it's not, it could be clearer, you know, if it said just like, you know, bot 11111 or whatever. I kind of want to just have a quick look at a game. Like, that one's not um, finished yet, so we can't look at that one. But um, I wonder if we load up one of my games from like last week and just see if we can see this... Um, they don't start fighting until they have a gun. Yeah, I noticed them not try and punch me at all. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, how many bots are in this game? This is a bot. 43. 43% bot solo game from last week on Vikendi. This would be a good one. We've got to find the... I want the 2D replay. Is this the... Not sure if this is the right thing. Let me pull this up for you guys. Boink. So this is on PUBG Lookup. I haven't used this. What they got? In, this is a new thing. I haven't really used it before. But let's put the speed down to like. Let's go back. So this is one of my games from last week. And I don't want this to like zoom in on the plane. There we go. I'm kind of curious. So it's on Miramar, the games he saw. When he was doing ones, there was like this raft of sort of players. Uh, what's up, Lois? Jay, how you doing? Yeah, this is a cool... This is a lot nicer than the old one. I'm just kind of curious. I can't zoom out anymore. It's a bit annoying. I mean, does that look like 100 players? I don't know if that is 100 players. What if we go to like 2x? Two times speed. There's a long line of like very. I guess the ones under the plane are the bots. Look, there's a definite line of straight, straight line of players. Yeah, it doesn't seem as. Are we going to see any more just arrive? Or do you think maybe the bots aren't going to be marked? And how we identify a bot on this uh, list. It doesn't look like there's enough people on there for it to mark bots, does it? Top right only had 75 at start. Uh, okay, interesting. Oh, it says 80 there, yeah. See, we don't see any, like, weird activity on that, really. But that doesn't... I don't think there's enough people on there. I don't know if that has bots on there. 
if you can find like a different game. Uh, Gun Daddy, how you doing? Dutch, how you doing? Welcome, Pappy, welcome. Um, do we have any Miramar games? I'm kind of curious. Got a Miramar one that I won that didn't have many bots in it. What about like, what if we look at that duo game me and Lamb had with like all bots? Duo, FPP, the one we didn't win. <laughs> so this is that game me and Lamb did with nine, uh, 62 bots. Let's see if it shows any bots on this thing. I'm curious. What's up, Flax? How you doing? Come on. Do stuff. You played an FPP game and you didn't win. In fairness, we tried to play that game using only... Um, Sticky bombs and a crossbow. The bots don't appear. It's interesting. Maybe I have to look at a different um, site. It's annoying this one's not loading because that'd be really cool to see. Doesn't seem to be working. What about my other character one? Is that going to load? Uh, who's that? Grizzly! Thank you very much for extending your tier 1 sub. Appreciate it, mate. I don't know if they just take a while to load or what. Been censored by PUBG. <laughs> like, does it load one of these ones? This is my solo... Pick a different, uh, whatever. Let's do the same one. I just want to see if it loads the thing straight away. Yeah, it does. This is a 38 bot game here. Yeah, this one, I wonder if it's just, oh, this is with Lamb. I wonder if it's just the um, Karakin ones that don't work on that. Interesting. I want to look at this one. Am I still in a game right now? No, I died. Kind of suspicious that the all bot game wouldn't load. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, yeah, there's not anything else we look at there. I wonder what's that site? So it used to link to like this 2D replay site, didn't it? But I don't know how 2D replay. I don't know how accurate these, uh, these are. But it will hopefully show you what I mean a bit better. Right, here we go. So I want to look at... What's the date? Today the 7th. May the 5th. Karakin. 4th. 8 kills. And Erica, I can't load. I can't load the Karakin ones even on this other site. No, I'm trying to. I wonder if it's just Karakin games. It just seems to be like the really, the really bot heavy ones. Hmm. What's like another bot heavy game we had that we can look up? Duo FPP, that was the ones we were trying to look at. What about that one? Sanok one? They have lots of bots? 76% bots, okay. Let's look at this Sanok duo game. On this site. That one, 46th. Yeah. Sanok, 46th. What's up, Grizzly? 
How are you doing? Time to level up the deagle. An error occurred. That's weird. I, like some of... I wonder if they're... I, I don't know if it's either... Like these... The websites can't handle this. So the API is bugging out. Or the API is not being told not to send data from these games from with large amounts of bots in i'd be interested to speak to the pubg lookup dude and ask him um what what is up with that what about like solo fpp like this one yeah all my like high bot games don't work basically what's up plimp how you doing nice to see you Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I have to put some more time into that off stream, I think, and try and figure it out. I'm curious how the how the bots work. Because it's easier to see. It's just easier to see when you do it on the um, the games that have like you know almost all bots. Right, would be uh, a lot more obvious. Ben's about to get us all whacked for finding out the truth. Yeah, we're doing some bot investigating. It's interesting. It's interesting. Let's play a game. Uh, what's up, Celtic? How you doing? Hope you're doing well, Plimp. Fake Nico, how you doing? With football starting up in Germany, do you see a chance of English football commencing soon? It doesn't seem likely to me, to be honest. You had bots literally peering in front of you. Yeah, well, we were look. So there was a video. Let me find. Maybe I'll find this guy's video. It might be interesting to look at. Yeah, let's open this. Uh, right, so th this is that guy's video. It's a guy called Why So Wookie. Um, but so he's basically saying here that these bots coming in above my head here, he was saying these are bots coming in on his replay. These are all coming on here. So the players are down. But then I think there's a line of bots there. I think those are bots there. I'm sure. I don't know. But there's like all these bots coming on here. And they all end up landing in this zone. And then you end up with another. You go on a bit. There's still more coming on here. And this is like further into this game. So these all land here, and then these wave coming in here, they all land um, in the next zone. So you'll see if we spin on a bit. This zone is closed in, and these guys are all going to land in this circle here. And they're like, it kind of looks like they're parachuting in, but I don't think they're parachuting. I mean, I'm, I haven't seen this data myself, so I, there's, you know, there's a definite margin for error here, but... It kind of almost, it does line up a little bit with what we've seen. I think it's almost like there's bots that come in gradually throughout the game. And, um, like, these ones aren't parachuting down, but I think they're either, like, invisible or they're under the map or something like that. And then they come in and they move into where the circle is. And then they appear when they've, you know, got to the right place, which is why maybe you see bots appear in, like, weird places late game with loot. Seemingly out of nowhere. I think that's might be what's going on. What's up, Brian? How you doing, mate? Nice to see you. But yeah, that's kind of what this guy said. So, you know, what the, it's called Why So Wookie is the guy on YouTube. It's his video, How Bots Load Into Games on PUBG Console. Um, yeah, it's interesting. So I, I want to do a bit of digging and see if we can find... Because my I haven't really been able to see a replay like this myself. But uh, yeah, it's interesting. Because, like, yeah, well, no, yeah, it's just be interested to know how it worked. Because bots appearing out of nowhere late game is a little bit, you know, frustrating. 
I think PUBG are ducking a bit of bot related news as it stands right now. Yeah, they've gone a bit quiet. I think they're just kind of working on stuff and figuring out how to deal with the situation. I don't think it's respawning. I think it's gradually putting bots in throughout the game rather than them all jumping out at random from the plane at the beginning and there being... and then lots of those bots just dying to the play zone, I guess. You played duos yesterday and you had 98 bots. Yeah, someone else, Shunter, said they were playing duos and they're all normal games with normal amounts of bots and then suddenly they had like a 98 bot game. It was like a bit of a glitch in the matrix going on there. Because the only way we had had those kind of games is when we had turned off um, crossplay. But I've seen a few people saying that they've had like, you know, most people have been saying they're fairly consistently getting 20-ish bots a game now. And then every now and again you just get one of these games that's like... Look, these are all bots. These are, look at all these bots. These are all bots. <laughs> these are the under the plane bots. Oh my god. Look at them. Like a little, little plastic army man. Where's he gonna go? Should we just... Get a gun. Why are there so many bots? In... Do you think, was that just... I mean, is that just 20 bots? I guess it's a small map. 20 bots is a high percentage on this map, though, isn't it? Sure, let's go. Squad seems mostly bot-free at night time. But I think the thing is, there's such mixed reports going on. I'm sorry if it's tedious to talk about. I know it's all we've been talking about for about the last week and a half, but, you know, it's here and it's relevant. Um, yeah, it's, I see it's such mixed reports. Someone will be like, oh, you know, there's my games are fine. And then other people are like, my squad games are, you know, completely full of bots. So it's just, I think it affects, it's affected a lot by like what servers you play on, what time of day you play, what game modes you play. And then there's just other like randomness around it as well. That was bot, on, bot on bot. Hey bot. I think he just just walked in here and murdered two other bots with his Tommy gun. Pretty savage. Oh, we don't need a backpack. We just got a just got a deagle. Oh, they were pretty much unarmed, dude. It's not cool. How do you play with bots? Just play PUBG, and they're there. Yeah, the bots are marked as the controller icon. Um, stud. I guess if you marked, like, the line of the plane, what, what did it go? I can't remember now. If you did the, like, the smart marker thing, which I forgot to do, I guess you could, like, follow that line and probably, probably, like, find, find bots by doing that, couldn't you? Because they all seem to drop under the plane. Ask them nicely and they'll play with you. Yeah, exactly. What, what Coop said. There's a lad. He's quite far away, but... He's definitely a lad. So I wonder if now we'll get, like, some more bots appear in this, this circle that are, like, already looted. I don't know if it'd work the same on Karakin. Karakin! We're, 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 the, we're the bot investigators today. TBG! Bot investigate. Oh, that wasn't a bot. Oh, <laughs> just looked back and I saw a guy with orange trousers. Doesn't seem very botty. Oh, he's a. Hmm. Not a bot. A deagle only game. Yeah. Well, I mean the. 
We saw a load of bots, so we were just kind of, you know, did it for a laugh, really. Uh, if I come across real players like that guy, probably not going to go quite as well. We've got to go back this way now, okay. Did I turn off crossplay for this? No. No. Um, yeah, I don't know how many bots are in this game. I don't know how many bots are in this game. Um, we saw a few drop down at the start, but there may have just been 10 or 20 potentially, and I guess we just saw them jump down. Uh, hey Wilbo, how you doing? Nacho, how you doing? Instead of trying to figure out bots, we should put our efforts into finding out what happened to ATX. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, people move on. Yeah, it was kind of bizarre. I said a few times, it was just like, you just, I just love to, you know. Because no, no one ever really says like, it, I think people just kind of phase out, you know, watching ES. No one ever is like, and now I am going to leave. I've had a nice time. I'm not going to watch the channel again. Thank you very much. That never happens. So people just disappear that you've been talking to loads. And then you just never see them again. It's always a bit, like, surreal. Maybe ATX still watches, you know. Maybe he still watches. Maybe he made a different account with a different name. Maybe he watches logged out, you know. Maybe he never existed at all. I must go now. My planet needs me. <laughs> exactly. Uh, P90, thank you for the 14 months, man. How you doing? It was just my mum. <laughs> They're just trying to get around inheritance tax. What's up, BDK? Why? How you doing? What do you think your, the outcome would be if your significant other found out you dropped thousands on Twitch? Yeah, I don't know, really. <laughs> I don't know. Chief, thank you very much for the 200 bits. Payman, how you doing? Uh, Evil Homer, thank you very much for the eight-month resub. Cheers, mate. Glad you enjoyed the... The Lammy video. Yeah, it's funny, right? I enjoyed it. What's up, Andy? How you doing? Andy. We were just doing bot investigations, Andy. You missed out, though. <laughs> hey, Rowata, how you doing? I mean, I feel like... I guess you don't know. People do all sorts of crazy things. But I feel like, <laughs> speaking of which, Brian, thank you very much for the five bomber gifted subs. Why have I had three Karakins in a row? What's going on? Stop giving me Karakin. Please don't tell my wife. <laughs> Brian, thank you very much for the five bomb. First gifted subs of the day. Just about to come up to our Twitch front page slot as well. So it gets a nice bit of saxophone to get everyone warmed up, ready for the front page. That's what we like to see. Thank you very much, Brian. I'm not saying his wife killed him, but <laughs> three Karakins in a row. What happened? I get shivers when someone says bots. Yeah, I bet. I bet. So I was watching a video, Andy, um, trying to get the hype train before front page happens. Well, we had a hype train trigger at the start of the stream from people using resubs and then it just disappeared because it was a bit early for hype. Um, so you won't be able to trigger a hype train, but we can make our own beard guys hype train we don't need twitch to tell us whether or not there is a hype train right what's wrong with a good old-fashioned standard sub train i say um so yeah the, the hype train's currently you know broken down uh yeah we were watching a video that disco had sent me that um oh my god stop putting me on karakin Can I get a non karakin game before front page? Um, by someone called Why So Wookie. Oh, it's called How Bots Load Into Games on PUBG Console. You might be able to find it on YouTube. But he had some 2D replays from his Miramar games that seemed to show bots, circles marking bots. I don't know how correct the API data is. Moving in from the edge of the map kind of throughout the game and then kind of moving into the later circles, suggesting that bots 
potentially some bots appear midway through the game rather than all at the start of the game. That is um, what we were speculating on and what we want to do some investigation into. Not that I can imagine you can make any comment on any of that, but just, you know, so you're in the loop with what we were chatting about. Nuka caught a bot teleporting in front of him. Yeah, uh, Rose said he had seen a bot appearing in front of him. I've seen bots seemingly appear out of nowhere, but not actually seen one literally appear. What's up, Payman? How you doing? Uh, what's up, Boz? How you doing? Well, you make your own luck, don't you? Interesting. Yeah, interesting. I, I agree. It was interesting. New Netflix documentary, The Gifter King. What happened to ATX? <laughs> Soon to be dethroned, isn't he? Right? I mean, Kamisa and Brian are going to take over as the new Gifter Kings eventually. They're catching up on old ATX. The brightest stars burn shortest, right? Is that... Do they? Maybe they burn longest. No, probably not. <laughs> I just want to overtake Kamisa. They also generate guns if they're not near people. Yeah, we think that they... I think that there's bots that appear at the second and third circles. They appear in those circles pre-looted. Pretty sure. Because we... And we, like, we saw a bot on Karakin on Friday on that all-bot game we had. It was on top of a building because it looked like he just appeared there or parachuted there. But he was like... He was really wet. He had like a gun, an armor, and a level two helmet. So unless he got lucky and found all that on top of that roof, I think he just had been on that roof all game with the loot hit he started with. I think there's some that come out of the plane that we see come down. They just drop straight down. Um, hey, we've got Erin But I think there's um, there's ones that appear later on in the game as well. Brian dropping another six gifted subs, putting himself on a nice even, well, odd I guess, but you know, nicely rounded. <laughs> 765 gifted subs on the channel now from Brian and starting off the Twitch front page start with some saxophone as well. Thank you very much, Brian. Appreciate the support. Can I see some saxophones in chat for Brian? Dropping the hype. Absolute legend. He's a one-man sub train. That's what we like to see. You can trust a bot. The only good bot is a dead bot. What's up, Chris? How you doing? You had like five bots end game, all with quick extended DMR sniper mags. It is fishy. That is fishy. Kamisa's within striking distance. What was he on? Seven six eight. He is really close. Taking advantage of furlough here. <laughs> Poor bastard. Uh, Chewy, how you doing? Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Welcome everybody. Watching us on the Twitch front page. How you doing? Uh, Giordio, how you doing? Dave Juice Guy, how you doing? I never said I was a good person. Uh, Mr. Mouse, how you doing? It's a sub train. It's what we'd like to see. Subs going out there to Moldy Bream, Rubber Dub Dub, Habs, K9, uh, Young Seth, Go Johnson. Ones earlier going out to Oz, Good Justin. Nawala, Aslington, Sammy 2K, and Kabar Kenny. One day, I've managed to do quite well at not reading out any stupid names, but one day I'm going to try and read one of those names, and it's going to be like, you know, they accidentally make you say, say something deeply offensive because they've just written it in a in a clever way. Not today. Land on top of the bridge, a bot will bring you loot. Chewy, the best late night entertainment on Twitch. <laughs> When the VODs don't get deleted. Maybe it's a Twitch conspiracy and Brian will disappear also. Maybe that's just the secret sub gifting number. When you hit 892 gifted subs, Twitch just come and they send some people around and they take you away. You've done enough now. You must come with us, Brian. Just stop 891. Yeah, exactly. Play it safe. Play it safe. What's up, Mickey? How you doing? Yeah, like that, Kirstie. Exactly. Just like that. 
just like that. Oh, that's oh, is that an emote? I was wondering what this guy was doing. I thought it was a bug. Wow, he's... He's all over the place, isn't he? Quite hard to shoot, I imagine, if they're doing that. That is... Quite some moves. Yeah, you. Yeah. Hello. Show me your beard. Don't look at your beard. Nice beard. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Got some dance, nice dance moves, mate. I enjoyed that. Can I sub to your Twitch? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll do that right now. I'll do that right now. Chewie, can you push on Ben's doorbell a few times for that banter? Thankfully, he's an Uber driver away now, so I'm safe from doorbell abuse. Yeah, he might be a stream sniper. <laughs> Get out of here, coach! Get out of here! I wonder if, like, Ninja started out his streaming career by going on other people's chats and saying sub to me. They're all here today, aren't they? Hello, front page! Hello! Where are we going? Should we go Millie? I've been Millie for a while. Where's in more interesting? I'll do a Millie. Uh, Mandalorian, thank you very much for the two year resub. Appreciate it, mate. Appreciate it. I'm going to ring your bell to, to, to spite you. <laughs> I mean, as long as you walk here, I'd be impressed. Be impressed. I remember when Ninja stopped by mine and asked me to sub to him. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Shroud was doing it and, you know, Dr. Disrespect. Please sub. Please sub to me. Follow for follow. That's how they did it, right? That's the, that's the trick. Tony Brooker, thank you for the 200 biddies. Just Tony. I don't want to lose this Aaron Gould game. Ran away. Throw the cage. Get that SLR. We were very lucky there that that guy didn't find a gun in that first room. Very, very lucky. Because he would have just owned me straight away. Oh! Boom! Boom dropping the 10,000 biddies! Holy crap! Tony Brooker, thank you for the 200 biddies and boom! Going in all... Hello. You're a bot. Get out of here, bot. This is the mini base. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be here. Um, drop over here. Let me have a look. We're not in the play zone. Uh, boom! Thank you so much for the 10,000 10, bits. Holy crap. When was the last time we saw a 10,000 bit go down? That's the real deal. Thank you very much, mate. You are indeed a legend. You are indeed a legend. Right here. Oh. 
Oh, too much shit in my face. Oh, so close. Wow, 10,000 biddies. That is, uh, that is pretty serious. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, Peter John, how you doing? Great. Erm, um, how you doing? Get out of the smoke and my game crashes. <laughs> what did the bot have? That bot wasn't carrying anything. Yeah, a boom walks in, slaps his sausage down on the table. Yeah, he really, really did. Really did. Man, that guy must have been like 1 HP. Kind of frustrating. Let's see if we can uh, get lucky and get another Erangel game. Oh. Welcome to the Silver Beard Club, Mandalorian. Yeah, the nice grey beard. The old grey beard for the two years. That's what we like to see. What we like to see. What's up, Mungo? How you doing? Swindle, how you doing? That's the last Erangel game today. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. We had three Karakin games in a row to start. Fingers crossed we can get another Erangel. It does kind of put you off hot dropping, which is, you know, when you can't get the map you want for like hours or days on end, it does put you off your normal drops because you're like, I, I want to just drop somewhere quiet so I can enjoy 15 minutes on Erangel. I might not see it for another two weeks. You'll be stuck on it now. That'd be great. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I shot my Erangel load. <laughs> It's a good battle. Yeah, yeah, it's a shame. He, we were both on a one-shot. There was no way he was more than a one-shot after that. But but he done it. It was almost all Sanok on duos for you the other day. Yeah, well, it's different for everyone, isn't it? It's always been the way. There we go. Two Erangles in a row. It's going to be an Erangel day. I can feel it. Then we'll have no Erangel for a week. But today will be a good day. Because it's Erangel. Puppy, how you doing? Level 51 already. Yeah, we're pretty high up. I mean, I got to like level 25 or 30 just with like tokens that I had left over. So it goes up quick. I haven't really played that much this season, really. Because we've been doing loads of customs and arc and stuff, so... Not really been playing a ton. Drop in the sea like a body? Any advice to get as little bots as possible? Mm, not really. Not really. We reached level 500 yesterday. Well done, Dutch. Well done. I've been enjoying the arc. Excellent, Dusty. Excellent. Glad to hear it, mate. Yeah, I've been really enjoying it. It's been been super fun to play. People seem to enjoy watching it. You know, it's been a nice change of pace. Chewy, thank you for the gifted sub to Stiff Martini. To Stiff Martin. Cheers, Chew. Does the keyboard work on Xbox? Uh, no, not really. Toot, toot. The MP5 is just on another level. It's a very good gun. It's a very good gun. Just lost connection. Is there someone at the door? No, we're okay. <laughs> We're okay. Your stream tips have definitely helped me get some ideas. Excellent. Glad to hear it, Dave. Glad to hear it, mate. Yeah, I want to do some more um, sort of streamer tip videos. I'm not sure what I'll do for the next one, but uh, once I've got a good idea, we'll we'll get something out there. Tommy with an extended is your favourite at the moment. I mean, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Uh, where should we go that's not going to get us instantly killed then so we can, like, enjoy a bit of Aaron Gould? Crate game? Let's do crate game. They're safe, right? Uh, Duffel Bum, thank you for the 18 months. Another grey beard in the house. No, wait. A yellow beard. Yellow beard? Grey beard is two years. Yeah, nice. Cheers, Duffel Bum. Appreciate the year and a half. Thank you very much. 
How do I send party chat audio to the stream? Uh, I use the desktop app on Windows. Just in the garage, no. There's a car there, let's go get that. Any bikes? One month off your grey beard? Nice, nice. No one gone there? I think that one's clear. My nice new fancy car. Have a voice like the beard, guys. Hey, don't land here, man. Oh, he's going to the next one, I think. There may well be someone here, but whatever, right? Should be fine. I think social media is overrated for starting streamers. If nobody knows you, they won't find your social media. Um, I mean, it's a fair point. It's, you know, it's worth having, but unless you're doing anything interesting or different that no one else is doing on your social media, then um, it's not going to make a huge difference, I don't think. Not compared to, you know, the, the content you're putting out and the quality of it and how entertaining you are. Uh, see you later, Stud. Take it easy, mate. You seen the new skins for the PUBG stream? Yeah, there's, um... You can get, what, Choco skins and Danuk skins, right? Maybe we should buy them. Are they any good? Grinding is a good start. I, well... I don't know if I like the term grinding, because it's not like, it's not like you just stream enough hours and you've got a good stream, you know. You just have, you have to like, make good content. Is it plain already? You could do one stream a week and do, be more successful than someone who's sitting there streaming 12 hours a day, six days a week, if your content is better. Easily. Easily. Where's my car? Oh, it was a flare. I thought that was early. Called me a burden already. Easily. If you're just sitting there doing what every other streamer is doing, from scratch to, to like zero to five people, playing games 10 hours a day, six days a week, whatever it is, you're not going to see any growth compared to someone who's coming up with really good ideas and putting out a really good show once or twice a week for a few hours, their growth is going to be better. It's about the quality. Yeah, exactly. Anyone can just sit there and play video games. Didn't find any helmets, did we? If you just had to sit there and play video games until you're successful, then everyone would be doing it, right? Successfully to a large audience. It doesn't work like that, though. As we have much talked about, really. Uh, what's up, Muffin Man? How you doing? Chewy, thank you for the 26 bucks. Sorry, what was that saying? Let me play again. I didn't... Did he play all that? Why $26? What is that in pounds? <laughs> I just went in the bottom spot. <laughs> Chewy, thank you very much for the dono, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. It's all about the banter, according to Mickey. There you go. It's all about the banter. It's the secret to growth. Top banter. Top bants. How you doing, Muffin Man? It's easy if you're a good-looking girl. If you can't, if you can't compete with someone who's not entertaining but is a good-looking girl, if you can't outdo them for growth, then you're a shit streamer, and you need to make better content. 
The band is strong with this one. If your excuse is girl streamers get it easy without having to be good, then you're just not a very good streamer. And discussions about biscuits. Yeah, exactly. Where is the Ben, Chewy, Lamb and Larry squad? Um, uh, well, the, uh, well, you know, uh, Chewy's busy working, obviously. Lammy's, uh, you know, we had Lammy on Friday and Larry's, you know, Larry's a busy man. He's hard to pin down. Need to get a helmet, really. You've only got a giant, um, a giant bear head on at the moment. Is it a bear? I guess it's a bear. What's up, Frodo? How you doing? Portek, how you doing, mate? Python, welcome. Just had a friend send me Jazzy's candy. Is it any good? What, like the um, the little chocolates with hundreds and thousands on them? Would it be tough to have banter by yourself? Only five viewers may not be the most active chat. Yeah, it definitely helps a lot. Having having an active chat definitely helps you, uh, you know provide entertainment but um you know we used to i used to stream when we had when we did world of tank streams and we might have 20 people watching maybe up to maximum like 75 but probably like 20 to 50 a lot of the time you know really oh effects is in my game old mixer boy you know really be really quiet chat but you just get used to talking it helps you know that's a skill that you have to have or you have to learn is you know engaging and entertaining and talking like that, you know, that was helped because we did YouTube and a lot of the content I did on YouTube was me doing commentary over games. So it'd be me playing single player games and doing commentary on it. So you just get used to talking about what's going on and, you know, never shutting up, right? But if you can't do that, you've got to, you know, you've got to learn to do it. Do I play with viewers? Yeah, we do it on Fridays for uh, when we play custom games. Am I using slobs? No, I use OBS. Effects is in the game. The banter I like is Ben's ultimate love for fish fingers and his disdain for people who don't agree. They're great, mate. Well, you haven't had fish fingers, Blimp, so you wouldn't know. You don't get them in America. You have fish sticks. They're not the same. They're not the high... They're not the high-grade shit we get over here. I guess I'm probably proving your point a little bit with, you know, that outburst. We get the, the high-quality, top-notch, fresh, uncut, pure fish fingers over here, mate. Bird's Eye's finest. Well, Morrison's own brand are actually better. What's up, Spyro? How you doing? Uh, boys, how you doing? Ben, you should be a university professor and teach how to stream 101. There'd just be lots of me shouting at people, I think. Telling people to stop blaming all their problems on girls with big jubblies and take responsibility for their life for a change. Do you like fish sticks in your mouth? I like the giant fish fingers. I haven't had a giant fish finger for a while. I always eat them in, a, in sandwich form. So I guess I don't know if the giant ones really fit in to a sandwich so well. Maybe they do. Maybe that's a revelation that I need to, uh, you know, needs to happen in my life. What's up, Chris? How you doing? Agro Beard, how you doing? Do you think a good chat etiquette? is good as a streamer? What, you mean the behavior of your chat or you mean the way you communicate with your chat? Wasn't there a South Park that had fish sticks in it? There was, Andy. Yeah, that was the, uh, that was the reference. Ben, never shut up. I will watch this stream all the way to my deathbed. That's what I like to hear. That's the kind of support I can get behind. That just makes you a new streamer, Great Erm. Um. That makes you a new streamer. I mean, I guess arguably you could say you're a bad streamer in the same way that if I went and tried to like ride a horse in a minute, I would be bad at riding a horse because I've never ridden a horse before. It's not to say, 
you know, I wasn't giving it a good a good effort, but I couldn't go out and do something for the first time and expect to be good at it, right? You do something the first time you're bad at it and you keep doing it and you get less and less bad until you're good at it, right? No one's going to sit down and be like a good streamer the first time they stream. I just caught the end of the combo. You missed us poor PS4 guys. What's up, Mungo? Nice example, yeah. Horses, right? Shout out and chat if you can ride a horse. I'm curious. I wanna I wanna know. I've never been on a horse. I feel like it'd be quite cool, but only from like, you know, the perspective of you know, like Lord of the Rings and horses is pretty cool. But the people actually I see on horses in my local area is just like, you know, with the little hat on, just slowly plodding around the country roads or something. Doesn't look that exciting, but Lord of the Rings horses, that looks pretty fun. Yep. I can ride, you're from Texas, better be able to. Yeah, we don't really have like the cowboy culture over here. We have the like, you know, prancing around on horses in a very English sort of way, I guess. And then and, like posh people on horses, obviously. Like, um, we like get onto this. Well, you know, like at the Olympics, right? We get the posh people on horses doing like the horse dancing. Bit of that. I think that'd be the sort of horse riding I'd get into if I took it up. Horse dancing. Dressage, yeah, that's it. Horse dancing. Your uncle Lammy can ride a horse, mate. Lammy's always turning up on a horse. Can't stop him. Never seen a man so addicted to the to the act of riding a horse. He's all over them like a rash. He's keen, isn't he? We have multiple world champions on dressage. Will you mean the Dutch people or the beard guys community? Maybe both. M4S12K. Oh, he had a Danuk thing. Danuk hoodie. There we go. Hey, you've got the Danuk hoodie on. I can't really see it, but you know, very nice. Ha, you had to pay money for that, you bum. Ugh. Hello? This this guy. Hit him. Got me a freebie. His effects in my game? Uh, he, yeah, he was. I don't know if he still is. What's up, Honey Badger? How you doing? You'd support Danu. Yeah, she seems cool. I don't really know. She seems cool. Why not? Yeah, she's damn good at PUBG. You find you get into each other's games a lot now through the waiting times? Yeah, it's a bit of an issue. I think it's going to make stream sniping worse as well. It's going to make it very easy to get into people's games, I think. 
Gets the Danak skins using the Beard Guy's code. My man! Sounds like a bot. Hello! Mid game bot! Drew is out here. Guess this is about the time we'd expect to see the um the mid game bots that we were speculating exist appear. Is this like th phase three we're going into now? I'm looking out for bots appearing. That's a bot. Mm, yeah, maybe. Where'd you go? Oh, what's up, Diedrich? How you doing? That looks like a bot. I could watch out this guy near me who isn't a bot, though. Oh, maybe not a bot. Oh shit. Is that guy looking at me? No, it's a lamp. I think this is a bot. Maybe it is. Oh, that's, that's not a bot. Bots don't carry snipers? Um, I don't know if that's true. There are three phases of bots all drop in looted up. But that's not correct because we've seen them drop down with no loot and seen them run around at the start of the game with no loot. What's up, Sundry? How you doing? It does feel like there are three phases of bots like we've seen in that video we talked about earlier. Um... But, um, yeah, there are definitely ones that just drop with the plane with no loot. And then I think there are other bots that come into the game throughout the game with loot. What's up, Beanie? How you doing? Raf, how you doing? Yeah, I think the only time I've still been killed by a bot was when me and Lamb did that 62 bot game versus us two on Karakin on Friday um and we um we tried to fight the whole game using only sticky bombs and a crossbow that I ran out of bolts on pretty quickly and we got killed in that eventually after about eight kills I think that's the only time the bots have got me so far I've been averaging about 20 bots per game yeah a lot of people seem to be saying that it's got to those levels now which is good um, I don't think that has too much of a negative impact on the gameplay. 20 bots in a game. What it, uh, What is still having a negative impact, though, is... Um, uh, is the matchmaking times. are pretty frustrating. And the, um, the matchmaking times are kind of exacerbated by the fact that there's no map choice. So that if you care about what map you play, you have a really frustrating time playing because... You have to keep quitting out of lobbies and then waiting ages to get into the map that you want. It takes you so... If I wanted to sit and try and get games in Erangel and we weren't lucky and getting two in a row like then, it just takes so, so long. Enjoyed your new video. Your yes at the end it was quite genuine and fun to see. Cheers, planes. Yeah, it was... Um, I said earlier, it's about as... About as uh, excited as you'll probably ever see me on stream, I think, the end of that game that went on YouTube today. Just gone over 22,000 followers on Twitch, by the way. Lovely to see. Thank you, everybody, for the new follows. Hope you're enjoying watching from the Twitch front page. If you aren't watching on the Twitch front page, why not jump in chat and say hello? Follow the channel. You have a much higher chance of getting gifted a sub if you have done that. Congrats. Yeah, why not? 22k. You celebrate every thousand, right? Like it's your birthday. I didn't really do fuck all for my birthday, to be honest, this year, but. 
Even Dutch is allowed, exactly. Even Dutch is allowed. The representative of all the Dutch dressage winners. Did I start streaming on Mixer first? No, Mixer didn't exist when we started streaming. What's up, proper thirsty? How you doing? Fellow bearded guy, nice. Welcome, welcome. There's not much on my beard at the moment, but you know, it's always a work in progress. Yeah, a little Corona birthday. Not that I ever really do that much for my birthday, but we would have gone out and had a meal or something. <laughs> Chewy, thank you very much for the gifted sub to Plains. There you go, a little birthday treat from Chewy. What a ledge, thanks, mate. Bots act like they have some sort of aim bot. I mean, they are literally bots, I suppose, so they would look like that. If I started streaming today, would I still choose Twitch? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think Mixer has potentially, a, you know, it depends really because Mixer has a lot more console focus on it. It's not just a console platform, but it's certainly a, a predominantly console platform. And Twitch is a predominantly PC platform, but you could argue that certainly for us, I think it works well for us being it makes us more interesting and unique being a console focused channel on a pc platform um rather than just being another console streamer on mixer you know and obviously mix has a tiny tiny viewer base compared to twitch i don't think it matters too much whether you start on mixer or twitch i don't think if you were a brand new streamer starting out i don't think it matters too much whether you went on mixer or twitch i don't think it makes a huge difference you can always move I think what matters more is what you're doing outside of your stream to to grow it and to bring in new people, which is most likely going to have to be YouTube content. That's where you get the people and get them to come and watch your stream. You don't get them on your, you don't get them on Mixer or on Twitch. You get them on YouTube and bring them over. Not through YouTube streaming, through YouTube videos. Have I checked out PUBG on Stadia? No, not yet. Not yet. Thought that was an M4, to be honest, but that'll do. Buddy. That was a bit slow off the mark there. Got away with that. He's gone around the back here. I normally catch Chewy Cracker after I watch Beard Guys. Yeah, it lines up nicely. Lines up nicely. To grow Chewy's content, he drinks weird cocktails and nearly dies in game for it. And, well, and possibly even in real life. You get promotion in Twitch chats too. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Works great. Uh, what's up, Mexican? How you doing? Yep, 
Yeah, like I said, I don't. I think if you're a new streamer, it doesn't really matter whether you went on Mixer or it doesn't whether we went on Mixer or Twitch. Like Mixer, you can. It would be. It's not easy on either platform, but it would be easier to get yourself into the top whatever percent of streams and get yourself exposed on that platform easier than you could on Twitch. But you're exposed to a massive, massive amount less people than you would be if you did the same percent position on Twitch. But either would be tough. What's up, Nashi? How you doing? Should we stream after beard, guys? What's the opposite of a palate cleanser? Uh, shots with the lads? <laughs> Jager bombs? What's up, Nashi? How you doing? Duke, how you doing? Uh, Andy, see you later on. Or was that KP saying bye? One of them. Whoever was saying bye, bye. Oh, it's it's KP. See you, KP. Start burning these 60k channel points. I can turn highlighted messages back to being like 10k if you like. To be fair, you send him junk food. I mean, yeah, you guys do do that. I keep trying to get Chewy's neighbor's address, but he won't even give me that. <laughs> so Lydia, trust me. <laughs> That's how I joined Beard Guys on Twitch, through YouTube. Exactly, exactly. Like, it's, you're not really going to get significant growth if you don't do anything outside of just stream. And, like, unless... I think the only ways that would really happen, if you're, like, say, a small streamer now, the only ways that could happen if you did nothing, nothing else off-platform would be maybe if you were, like... You'd still have to be really shit-hot at streaming and at games. And then if you were maybe good mates with someone who was already big established streamers and you were regularly playing with them and they helped you get exposure you know that knowing people like that can help you in the same way that having a youtube channel would bring you people but outside of knowing someone that is going to help feed you you know viewers there's not much there you're a friend from lid nice what's up duke 150k CP now, nice. Still waiting for my cheese sandwich. What did I say that was? Didn't you, didn't I say a million? Did I say 100k? I think we lowballed it a bit there. Good and tight, thanks. Yeah, you're pretty close. What's up, Wheel? How you doing? Uh, what did you ask about my roots really? I can't remember what you said, Chaos Theory. Sorry. Was it a, a doorbell-related inquiry? I'm trying to figure out the, the doorbell conundrum. <laughs> Do need to get a, a door, new doorbell. Are you having a day off tomorrow? No, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. Do I have a router upstairs? Yes. And downstairs. And the upstairs one is wired into the downstairs one. I hope the London rib man is doing okay in this environment. I'd be bummed out not to be able to taste his wares when I get to London town. I've he seems to, he's been shipping out. He's cooking rib meat at home and sending out. I saw on his Instagram the other day he was shipping out absolutely tons of rib meat um, to people. So I think rib man's doing okay, which is great to see. I've never tried them, but they look like looks like nice rib meat. Yeah, I have a second router upstairs and then like the router that came with my internet downstairs, like my virgin thing downstairs. So I have two routers. It gets kind of confusing having all these various wireless networks and there's other confusions to do with the cabling that I have. It's all a bit, I don't, not really happy with the setup, but I'm happy enough. It all kind of, it could work a bit better, but it works enough at the moment and I don't want to start fiddling with stuff and break it. Um, Because... Pretty much the best advice I think you could ever get given with running the technical side of a stream is if it ain't broke, don't touch it. Because every time I'm like, oh, maybe I'll try and just sort this out on my computer and everything's been kind of fine. You're like, maybe I'll just try and sort this out. And then you end up spending like three days trying to fix what you just broke because you'd updated OBS or you updated Windows and then it's taking you like 
days of time to get it back to where, exactly where it was before with absolutely no progress. Uh, Norms, thank you very much for the Prime sub. A brand new Prime. Cheers, Norms. 25 subs and resubs for the day now. Don't know where we're going. Not there. A router, English for router. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Router, not router. Overseas. Oh, I don't think he's doing it overseas. Well, you know, that'd seem unlikely. Uh, I'm not sure where his Instagram is. You could probably find it. If you ask me off stream, I can look it up for you. What's up, Bingtron? How you doing? Yeah, we're doing customs tomorrow. Still sitting on my stimulus money, thinking about getting a banger PC. <laughs> That's the spirit. Reminds me of when I was at when I was a university student, I got my student loan. I was like, sweet, I'm going to buy some like nice speakers or <laughs> going to go and buy some cool shit. Which I'm pretty sure that wasn't what my, you know, loan was meant to be for. But they were good speakers. You found it. The rib man. Great tag. Nice, nice. Is there a price point the new Xbox would come in at that you'd consider not getting it? Ugh, I mean, I mean, I guess there has to be a price point, but I think there'd be, I think if it's like more than 500 quid, I would, it's, it'll piss me off. But where an Xbox, fo you know, literally my job is stream producing gaming content on Xbox, so... I have to have it, so uh, yeah, we'll buy it whatever they put it out as. Unfortunately, we're not we're not in there with Microsoft for them to like just send us one. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll be getting it regardless. I'm hoping it's not going to be. I mean, I mean the X was what about four hundred quid, so I'm expecting it to be. Get on the bags, they're not even that high. Um, yeah, I'm expecting it to be maybe four five hundred quid. How much is five hundred quid? Alexa, what's 500 pounds in dollars? I can't hear. She's downstairs. It'll be at least four to five hundred dollars. <laughs> She's no good down there. Can't hear her. Six hundred and fifteen US dollars. Wow, that's how bad. That's how weak our currency is right now. Holy shit! My God. My God. Go QBZ. Spear caught, Lexa. $500 is Redullet in FIFA. Yeah, I mean, it's priorities, I suppose, isn't it? What would you rather buy? Yeah, I thought I might set off a few uh, Amazon Luxes. We always like the way that on the Amazon Alex adverts, they always say Luxer in, like, weird ways so that it doesn't trigger your ones at home. I always think it's really clever. Because it doesn't sound too crazily weird, but it's always like, looks uh, and it like never sets off. They must just test it and have like set weird ways you can like say it that won't set off everyone's at home. Looks uh, <laughs> set a timer for five minutes. Looks uh, but like they don't sound as shit as that. They sound better than that. Does mine answer as Sam Jackson? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Should it? Is it malfunctioning? <laughs> What's up, Scooter? How you doing? Was there a level 2 helmet? Thanks. I wasn't really paying attention. Don't know if you noticed. We'll go and have a look. Um, is just one we can see from here? Like in these? What's up, Heavy Camp Brad? How you doing? I'm really liking the QBZ at the moment. Yeah, it's a fun gun. It's a fun gun. Would recommend. Uh, it's okay. We'll just go find a different one. 
We'll go find another. There's one. Ooh, an M249. I mean, I've done kind of crap with that. It's got like double... Double recoil now. I mean, bot? I feel like too f quick firing for a bot. Don't feel too bad what about the weak currency. I mean, it's not... It doesn't really... It only matters if I go on holiday to... Yeah, you're definitely a bot. Look at you. Get it. I think there's another bot over here. Hey, bots. I'm a little bot fight out here. Good old-fashioned bot fight. Um... Yeah, I mean, it. yeah, if I go on holiday to America, it's pretty painful. Not that I could go on holiday to America anyway, because can't even leave the house, pretty much. Um, on the plus side, um, because, you know, Twitch is an American company and YouTube is an American company, most of, you know, our company's earnings are actually in dollars. So that actually works out quite well. So the, uh, you know, the weakness of our currency is um, a bit of a blessing, really. See you later, Raf. Take it easy. I mean, you used to get a shitload more dollars for your pounds than you do now. Just got offered to trade my 59,000 channel points for 10 bucks. Can I hold out for 20? <laughs> yeah, to the euro, it's pretty crappy as well. Go, I mean, going anywhere with, with the pound, you just feel like you get nothing for your money. Was that in 1997 when I was in the UK and drinking bitters and looking at Rosetta Stone? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Not too bothered, is he? Um, well, he wasn't a bot because he was driving. He had an underscore and he acted a bit botty, but uh, not a bot. Does the CP benefit the streamer in any way? No, it's just like a little interactive thing. The global economy is rough right now. That is true. That is true. I mean, the pound was like... Value was shit anyway before all this... Uh, this nonsense started. Where he was going? Stadia, maybe? They've evolved. Bots can drive now. <laughs> maybe. I'd like that if they gradually evolved, just started doing weird things. Maybe like you get bots that are like twice the height of a normal man. <laughs> I'm down. That's the kind of PUBG I want to play. Are you a bot? I think you're probably a bot. No, I don't think he is a bot if he's jumping around. Not a bot. <laughs> I mean, arguably, the two non-bots I've killed have done worse than the... put up less of a fight than the bots did. <laughs> Maybe Stadia, yeah. Boss bots. Huge bullet sponges that take a whole squad. Yeah, that'd be great. Like, give it the hit points of a BRDM, but it's just a giant dude with, like, M249s for arms. Like, um... Like the boss from, uh... You know, from Jute Nukem. Jute Nukem? Not Jute Nukem. Wolfenstein, that's what I meant to say. Wolfenstein. You know, like the end boss from Wolfenstein with the Gatling guns. That guy. Um... What's this Stadia thing? It's like a... Uh, in browser way of playing games so you can play certain games through your chrome browser and you can now do pubg on that and it's and it's and it's free guntag yeah that guy 
Uh, what's up, Hamada? How you doing? Yeah, I don't know. He just sort of ran in the corner and went all like Blair Witch. Or you can Chromecast it on a TV. There you go. If he can't see you, you can't see him. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense, right? Isn't that what we want? Bots to be unrecognizable to real players? I don't know. There's kind of arguments both ways, really. You know, I, there's a lot of arguments to people saying that they'd rather just know very, very clearly. Oh, that's his, like, took shot. <laughs> You know, have the bots look very obviously different, so that not just them playing badly, but them, you know, looking like a robot or whatever, so that you knew exactly what was the bot and what wasn't before you had a fight, so you could make decisions based on that, rather than having to just guess and be like, is that a bot or is that a player? And then it turns out to be a player, it turns out to be a bot. And... Do people still set up roadblocks, uh, bridge blocks? Well, I don't know if they would here, really. Not some on Erangel they do, but yeah, not so much on this map. <clears throat> Play with the squad, it's more fun. Ah, I don't really like other people, so solos works quite well. The bots should be animals. Ah, oh, yeah, like bears, right? The bots are all bears, but with but with guns. Yeah, that'd be great. Hey hippie, how you doing? Sicily is reportedly going to pay half your flight and a third your hotel to go there. Oh, nice. Yeah. Get a cheap holiday at the moment. I'm down. Only like Larry's and Mike's. Exactly. Only Larry's and Mike's welcome. And bears. With guns. Bears with guns. Oh, bulb. Bulb, bulb. Bulb, bulb. Bears with guns. That guy. No. It is a gap between two bushes. <laughs> oh, Kira, thank you for the twenty five months. <laughs> Cheers, Kira. I'm sure you only did your two year like last week. Can Twitch, eh? That was a good joke, though. Come on, Ted Danson. Hopping around medding, but he's like not taking cover at all. <laughs> Kira is the best female console player on PUBG. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Absolute legend. It's the hacks. Don't say that in chat. PUBG Andy's here. He'll ban you. He's got a button on his desk, he's got the big red button. Juicy. Juicy Lucy. A tuberculosis just got killed. He's in my game again. That was one of the bots we saw the other day. You see that in the feed? Good old, good at my nemesis, tuberculosis, the bot. <laughs> Yeah, he, I killed him in one of those games on Karakin with Lamb last week where there was loads of bots. Amazing. Did you see the Warzone streamer that accidentally showed their radar on screen the other day? I did not see that. Always, always funny when streamers do that. <laughs> I 
Old Turbs. I saw you clip. Was it you clipped that, Andy? I was, one of my fun things to do is because it tells you who has made clips on your stream when you look through your stream clips. It tells you who made the clips. After every stream, I always see ones Andy's made when there's been like a bug or something that he's like <laughs> marked for reference. I'm like, what's Andy marked up today? Is that a tech joist, do you reckon? He just killed someone with an M24. Uh, what's up, Spot Hunter? How you doing? He's well known on Reddit too. What? <laughs> Tuberculosis. Maybe he's not even a bot. Maybe he's a stealth real player. How many games per day are bots playing? They must be racking up their SP. Yeah. Yeah, they got to be doing pretty well for the old SP, right? Getting that parachute. Tuba was in my game on Tuesday as well. Squad mates didn't believe me. <laughs> See what happens. We've got a uh, tech joist is still knocking about. He's a very good player, so uh, he he is fairly likely to to do me in. I'm just gonna uh, just gonna sort of keep wandering over here and hope that he gets shot in the ass. It's my usual tactic when I know there's a good player in my game. Let some other people deal with it. on that, I think. Long way to go, mate. Oi. Just trying to kill this poor Larry. He don't need any of that. He's gonna try and get in. He's not gonna have the best time if he does. I think he might have play zoned already. Now this lad we're looking for. The zone got him. Yeah, the zone killed someone. Probably, probably him. I'm gonna go that way, it's gonna be really nasty with this guy. Oh, hello. You are right there, weren't you? Sneaky gilly boy. Hello. Larry down there. Up on the hill. Ooh. I don't know how hidden we are. There's a guy there. He hasn't seen me yet. I think there was a guy. This guy, like, uh, this guy was trying to get me. And then there was that guy on my left as well. Where can we get to then? I think that's tech. I think I recognize the outfit. Uh. Ooh.
See what happens. 3k viewers, very nice. Twitch front page, good to see. Our vest has taken a bit of a pound in here. Maybe Tech will uh, pan out with me if we get the 1v1. That's, I think that's, that's my boy. I mean, I might be wrong. I just thought that looked a bit like how I seem to remember him being dressed last time I saw him. Creepiest Mike. It's <laughs> a good name. Uh, still four, four other lads left. What's up, Luke Express? How you doing? My vest has seen better days. Yeah, I should look in that crate we ran over. Really. Kind of got to go back up there, but let's check this guy's vest. Might get away with it. Oh, he's no oh, god. Your vest for me? It's not really any better. Uh, keep it, I guess. There we go. Uh. Hey, got him. <laughs> GG's tech. Oh, feels bad. Oh. Ooh, so close, so close. Oh, take it though. GG's. There we go. Twitch front page win to the 3000 like to see it. I like to see it. Nearly screwed that up. GG to Mr. Uh, Tech Joist, Mixer Streamer. Excellent PUBG player. Very pleased that I got to just throw a grenade uh, at him from behind after he was busy fighting someone else and taking meds. That gun kicked up at the right time. Yeah, I sort of knew where he was going to be popping up, but I just snapped onto the wrong spot and we had to pull it in. Ooh, thank you for all the GGs. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thought we'd... Yeah, I thought we were done when I snapped badly on that dude, but... Went okay. It went okay. Thank you for all the subs and resubs today. 27 uh, so far today. 1,364 total subs on the channel, which is a pretty massive sub count. I think that's about as high as we've been for a long time. Um, I can't remember when we were last had more than that. So big thank you, everybody, for the subs lately. Been a lot of support. It's great to see. A lot of big supporters on that list. Bow, 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 bow. Not gonna be long for Giz is over ATX there on the uh, on the old bitties. Ten kill front page chicken. Anyone else rocker? Big supporters is in tall people. Yeah, exactly. That new vest saved you big time. That's true. I would have died if I hadn't taken that vest. 100%. I was on like a slither of health. I'm glad we found that. Never too late to get a new vest. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if I can watch the... Uh, uh, like, can you restream the Xbox, like, game thing? I need to kind of look this up. That's enough of that funky music. Thanks, though. I need to see if you're, like, allowed 
to uh to watch it. Uh Ross the Boss, thank you very much the hundred biddies. Cheers, Ross. Uh Kylie, how you doing? Good to see ya. I pulled his YouTube stream up to watch the fight on both sides and he was rooting for you and was rooting for you the, I thought he said he was rooting for you the whole time. That would have been weird. Uncork Train, thank you so much for the five bomber gifted subs. Absolute legend. Twenty gifted subs on the channel from Uncork Train. Subs going out to the fun goat. Sam, your eye warrior, Cobra Clark, and Dub Hydra. Thank you very much, Train. Appreciate the support. Hopefully, some of our new viewers from the Switch front page getting a sub. Don't forget to say hi in chat. Follow the channel. Higher chance of getting gifted a sub if you do that. More viewers in here than Dan. Well, that's because we're on the Twitch front page. But yeah, nice to see. Nice to see. Unfortunately, Fake Shroud is still being us for viewers, but otherwise, otherwise doing quite well. Otherwise doing quite well. Cheers, Train. Appreciate it, mate. Appreciate it. Mate, Fake Shroud is smashing it lately on Twitch. That guy. You want to talk about grinding? Fake Shroud. Dude, dude can grind. 3k viewers. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. What's up, Tsunami? How you doing? Handsome guy, how you doing? It's real Shroud just in the past. Um, well, I mean, I'd argue that it's Fake Shroud. <laughs> but I, I get your point. Maybe it's all a ruse. Maybe it's a conspiracy. Maybe Fake Shroud is run by Real Shroud to try and put down Twitch and make it look bad. To make Mixer look better. Maybe. I'm not saying that's what's happening, but, you know, just saying, you know, maybe. Really looking forward to customs tomorrow. Excellent, excellent. They should be good fun. They should be good fun. Maybe Fake Shroud is us. Maybe we do Fake Shroud to try and push the, t the PUBG directory up. Yeah, I'm amazed that Twitch hasn't found a way to, um, to like, block that. I mean, I get, I get it. Like, they change the name, it gets blocked, and they just change the name, and there's lots of different combinations you could do, but surely there must be a way of, like, stopping that happening. <laughs> That's... You'd think. Tell us more about your theories. <laughs> the bots are fake shroud. <laughs> Is he making... No, the, the fake shroud streams on Twitch are nothing to do with shroud. It's just some scam person or people who run up. It's done on a few directories in Twitch. I, think, I can't remember what ones, but there's a few different games that have a big streamer or former streamer where they do like fake streams like that and there's like links that will steal your account or try and steal your Steam account if you go and talk in chat. So it's just a big, it's just a scam run by some, some naughty people. It's fraud, yeah exactly. The person running it, I don't know, I guess so. I suppose so. If they're, you know, running thousands of view bots and I imagine they're making money from it. I don't think many real people do watch it. I think it's just... I think it's mostly uh, view bots watching it. It's the coppers. Fake Shroud is what Turb does in his spare time. <laughs> Oh, tuberculosis. If you're not smiling, balls to you. Uh, cool death hype. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. Brand new Prime. We're up over 30 subs and resubs for the day now. Great to see. Thank you very much for the new Prime. Appreciate it. Look at you, Mr. 3000 viewers. Yeah, well, you know, I've been, you know, I've been working hard lately. I feel like, you know, it was about, about time we had miraculously had 3000 viewers. It was funny last week when we played Ark and had 3,000 viewers on the Twitch front page. Bringing Ark back. It's kind of novel playing like old games that don't have a viewing on Twitch on the Twitch front page. And then you're like, 
the only person streaming it. 2,800 of bots. What's up, Brad? How you doing? Love from the UK. Nice. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Whereabouts in the UK are you from? Uh, Stu Parkin, thank you very much work, for the guys. 200 biddies. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. Worthing. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, it's good, isn't it, Pappy? It's good. 3,000 viewers equals PUBG ain't dying. Well, I don't think you can use that. I mean, I'm not saying PUBG. I don't think PUBG is dying, but... um, Because you could, our normal average viewer account is higher than it ever has been for PUBG. And it looks like the other regular streamers who play PUBG, like Danuk and stuff, you know, still pull very healthy amount of viewers. So there's still lots of interest for people to watch PUBG there. Um, but we have 3,000 viewers because we're on the Twitch front page. You know, there's no no other reason for that. If we're on a DBS, do you think that'll go well? Probably not. Uh! Hang on a minute, I've got to load this thing. It takes a while. Let's play a game. Uh. <laughs> I like this game. I like this. We've got to be low, right? Shotgun roof battles. This is how PUBG's better be played. 360 spin off the roof. Don't die. I'm okay. All right, let's get some stuff. Uh, yeah, because, you know, we could go and play. Like I said, we played Ark and we had 3,000 viewers last week because we were on the front page, so. Boink. I liked that uh, I was looking at our Twitch clips. Should we just take, like, two DDBSs? Do you think that'll work? I reckon that'll work. Be fine. We'll put a 2x on one. That'll be the sniping DBS. And the other ones, you know, for... Wasn't there a bag over here? I think I just didn't pick it up because it's just such a shit one. <laughs> nah, don't need it. This would be a fun, like, anti-bot loadout, right? You can... <coughs> Sorry, I got something in my throat. The double. You can cancel the reload after a few shells going, yeah, don't you have to press fire, don't you? And then it like stops it, but I just wanted to get it done. He's going for the doobler. The doobler the doobladus. Do I just play PUBG on console? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh yeah, there's bots in it now. Yeah, they just, just arrived. Karakin's okay. I reckon's alright. I'm mostly interested in playing Erangel. If I get a game on Erangel, it'll get my full attention. Uh, the other maps, you know, meh. We had a nice little game on Sanok. That was fun. I don't mind when they're a bit of a mix. As long as I get like a, you know, a little, nice little helping, nice little dose of Erangel. And a bit of a mix of the others. That's fine. That's fine. Everything has a life cycle. Well, exactly, exactly. As soon as any game is released, you know, it's likely to be, uh... As soon as its initial period of hype is ended, which is probably going to be a few months after it's released, then it's going to be, you know, dwindling in in player base size and interest. And occasionally you'll have spikes again when they do interesting updates and a few people come and check it out. But, um, generally it's going to be, uh... He's ghastly. I am Oh, he went down like a sack of shit, didn't he? Oh, DBS. DBS hip fire. Right in the gut. I was wondering where he was. I hadn't heard him at all. I was just like, I know there's a guy nearby because he threw that sticky bomb. Should we put the 3X on one? I think that's pretty pushing it, isn't it? He's got an M249. I thought it was a bit try hard. Uh, Stu Parkin, thank you so much for the gifted sub, mate. Cheers, Stu. Coming in big today.
That's why you run the double DBS. So I only needed one of them, in fairness. One did the job. But yeah, I mean, that was that was ideal range for the DBS. Zero range. Zero meters with the DBS. It's got to hurt. Is this game cross-play at all? Yeah, if you... Um, so Xbox and PlayStation players now uh, play on the same servers together, as do... Oh, that's a dead guy. Yeah. Uh, as do Google Stadia players now. But not with PC. Or mobile. How you doing, Murderface? Good to see you. Red Dead and Daisy on Game Pass now? Yeah, Red Dead 2. Maybe we can play together. So we play custom games every Friday. If you want to get some games with us, um, come and join on Fridays. Where we play custom games and you can all come and join in. Who killed you? Hey Grizzledam, how you doing? You vetoed the 3x? Yeah, I felt like it was a bit over the top. We went for the 2. The 2 is for range. Didn't we... We killed a guy with a 6x DBS once, didn't we? When it first came out, we put a 6x on the DBS and killed a guy at about... How far was he? He was probably about 60 meters, maybe. I'd say... Your confusion is not rational. She's a healthy female of breeding age. What do you call a man who can't stand? Neil. He's way over there. <laughs> Oi! Oh, they're all having a go, aren't they? Uh, Kira, thank you for the biddies. Oh, you're full of good ones today, Kira. That was a bot. Uh, no, that's not a bot. I can't, I can't fight you, dude. I've got two DBSs, sorry. Don't know who I'm apologizing to here. Sneak up on these boys. <clears throat> Please show a bot. Um, if I find one, you'll see it. If you want to see some bot gameplay, then go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash thebeardguys, and there's a bunch of videos over the last few days showing lots of um, bot gameplay for you. Probably the best, uh, your best bet. I want this guy to start. This guy's going to shoot him. He's my savior. My friend. <laughs> That's another guy coming down behind this guy. Oh, yeah, we're having a party here, boys. He got him. <laughs> Look at that, that is Karakin down to a T there. Everyone just got get people getting fourth partied. Should we take a red dot? Why not, I suppose. I guess this guy's still up there. Oh, hello. Hmm. Bit wary of that dude. I don't know where he went. I was hoping that guy had moved a bit. I thought he'd push down the wall. I was going to go and like intercept him. And he's see me now. Let's leave him a little bit. He's got to come this way. It's really open to push it in with the two shotguns. <laughs> we'll have to, you know, buy it our time, play it sensibly. Play it sensibly, he says, with two DBSs. Uh, Retro Joe, how you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of bot gameplay up on our YouTube channel. Um, yeah, you know. Woo! You want to see that 2x in action? I want to do it too. The problem is, like, as soon as you stop to shoot, someone's going to headshot me with a canine.
We hit him. I doubt it did much damage, but we hit him. Hmm. Kind of, yeah, kind of in the zone-ish. I was hoping this guy would come over here and, like, get involved. Got, that guy got a Stadia hoodie on, maybe? Wait to see if this guy pops up somewhere. I don't know. I think he's still hugging that wall. Maybe. What's up, Benji PUBG? How you doing? Oh, maybe that's him back there. Or is that the pink boy, actually? Go find these lads. He's on the roof. Got no helmet. It's going to be a bit of a bastard to get with me DBS, though. But he can't stay up there. A bit long. Yeah, you can't. Uh, you can't use bots in customs, unfortunately. Kind of funny if you could. Lob a fire, boy. I am. Could be a stuck bot. I don't think that was a bot. He just he wouldn't throw a sticky, would he? And someone in the game with radar in their name, much disdain. I mean, it's just kids, isn't it? Or like people with a lacking sense of humor trolling. I see a guy? Maybe. Oh, how? He took two hits from that. Surely one would have done it. Oh, he was so low as well. Unlucky. It does have an underscore, maybe it's a bot. It'd be so troll, wouldn't it? I mean, but there's already a, there's a tuberculosis bot. I've noticed PS4 players putting underscores in their name and baiting people in with shots. Well, I guess it could go both ways though, right? Because the bots aren't marked as PS4 players. They're marked as you're not, not your platform players. So PS4, for PS4 players... The bots all look like Xbox players, so you could say the both the same for both ways, right? PS4 has to have underscores; it can't have spaces. Interesting. I like a handsome e boy. He shows up a lot. Yeah, we've seen him. We've seen him. What's my favorite map? Erangel, all day, no question. Easy. Easy. By a million miles. The Kendi game. I just I kind of want some games on Erangel, but we we had two and they both ended quite quite quickly, really. Well, one we got a bit of a game, didn't we? The other one was very quick. Oh my god, how many is that muffin man dropping the ten bomb out of nowhere? We're getting so many little pockets of gifties popping up today. Muffin man, thank you so much for the ten gifted subs. Sub is going out to some of our new viewers today. We got Gangrene, Gamble. Uh, Enville, Bass, Rinked, Minty Duck, Monty. Bunch of people getting gifted subs from Muffin Man. Can I see those hairy saxophones in chat for the Muffin Man? Throwing down 10, absolute legend. Thank you so much. I'm going to play Karakin again. Yeah, whatever. 
It's better than waiting for lobbies all day. So much karakin today. So much karakin. So much saxophone. Here's Muffin. Appreciate the support. Stop saying you love Erangel. Maybe you'll get it. That's true. Oh, I hate Erangel. God, it'd be rubbish if I got Erangel all day. Got it figured out. Got it figured out. Cheers, Muffin Man. Absolute legend. First 10 bomb of the day. Getting that old school saxophone going on. That's all we like to hear. Uh, Sink, how you doing? Good to see you, Mojito. How you doing? Barely even her. Barely even her. <laughs> how fast was the car going? Let's just like jump straight out of the plane. It'll be busy, hopefully. Um, Dynamo, thank you so much for the 500 biddies, dude. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Did I get my doorbell fixed? Well, it's not my doorbell is broken. It's just that it acts as some sort of, like, EMP device. <laughs> that count is broken. It still rings. It still makes the doorbell make a noise. It just has, you know, other features. Uh, but yeah, no, no is the answer. So just hopefully no one arrives at the door today. Don't get on it. Just pick that up. I saw a guy drop over here. You're a bot. He's, are you looting? We've trapped a bot. We've trapped one. <laughs> we got one. Oh, you're not a bot. You're jumping. Hang on. Can bots jump? <coughs> oh, he's... Are you a bot? <coughs> yeah, it was a bot. It's a bot. I thought I trapped a bot. I don't I think that was a bot. An angry bot. Yeah, exactly. An angry bot. But he had the... He, he did a jump and he punched me, which were two things that we've not seen bots do. That's why I'm saying he's not a bot. I know he had an underscore. I know he's acting a bit botty. I know he's dressed a bit botty. But a jump and a punch, these are not the actions of a bot. They're starting to evolve. We did speculate on that earlier. They defo punch, they can punch. Didn't know they could jump, okay. They're learning to be human. <laughs> E.g. bad for your KD. Well, could argue otherwise. Could argue otherwise. You got first aid? There we go. Cheers, mate. They can't jump yet. I they weren't teamers. It's just a pair, a pair of lads that we came across. <laughs> This map is full of lads everywhere. I mean, we had like a four-way fight going on last game. Do we reckon... Um, do you reckon that for... I'd be interested... I want to look up that. I guess he wasn't a bot because he can't jump. And he said he can't jump. That is the word from PUBG. But he, everything else about him... Said bot, he was running there unarmed. He kind of ran in there regardless of the fact that I was there. I guess maybe you would have done that anywhere as a player. He didn't start punching me immediately. He didn't really panic too much. What's up, gamer? How you doing? 
No one landed near you, yet four people came to... Loads of people landed near me. We barely looked around. It's Karakin. There's people everywhere. It's a small map. They weren't stream snipers. They're just some lads. It's Karakin. There's people everywhere. That's the map. That's what happens. It was fake shroud. <laughs> it's always fake shroud. I don't believe you. Check survival, see if he had gamer stats. We have to wait and... Um, well, I guess we could look up his gamer tag, but I can't be bothered. Um, once that game finishes, we can look up the, uh, the match on um, PUBG Lookup. Whereabouts do I live? I live in the UK, in England. Your confusion is not rational. She's a healthy female of breeding age. Dana, thank you for the 300 biddies. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Got another fun, fun little journey on the Twitch front page. We've got about half an hour left. Our front page adventure. You can see in Mastery. Um, ah, okay, yeah, I guess so. Too late now, though, right? Yeah, I need to, um, hey, we got Erringle. Hopefully it's not too botty. Um, yeah, we need to see... If we can, like, restream this Xbox, like, you know, game announcements and stuff. It's interesting seeing so many, I see so much annoyance from PUBG PC players, and especially streamers, but I guess that's because who I follow on social media, but... Bumping, people bumping into, um... Cheaters a lot. I want to see this Wacky Jacky clip. That's gonna be it's a Twitter video, so it's gonna be kind of small and crappy quality. But I wanna I wanna see. We're gonna watch some Wax and Jackson. Sorry, it's pretty really hard to see, but it's not gonna be Someone's great using a DPS. quality. Actually, that's a double barrel. Wait, he's the... oh, it's it's Xiao Zhang yeah. and CCTV store. Okay, we're dead. What? How? Oh, he's a hacker! I got knocked! Ah. Oh, yeah, I knew it. Dude, when, the moment I saw the name, I just knew it. I'm so, I just... I just knew it. You know, it sucks. The moment I saw... Okay, look, I mean... Is this the guy? Oh, this is they the don't one even that care. killed him. They don't even care. It's just... Uh, it's just not fun. I mean, this is... The moment I see... I see... Like, it's... That's pretty shit. Pretty shit. Seems to be a very common thing on PC. Not something you have to deal with on console, which is nice. That's not a new thing. That's that happens all the time on that sort of thing. I, from what I hear from my PC uh, comrades, is that is very very common. I was watching that live. He was so pissed. Never really seen him like that before. Yeah, it's got to be annoying. It'd be frustrating to have to deal with that. Most viewers on PUBG, what is fake fake shroud's gone? Yeah, we've beaten fake shroud. Get out of here, fake shroud.
What's up, Benny Digital? How you doing? Yeah, we have 3,000 viewers now. This is just this is just how it goes on the stream. It's the bots. Everyone's really excited about all the bots on PUBG console. They've gone down really well, and it's just brought thousands of new viewers um, to the channel. So, you know, it's great to see. Thanks for the bots, PUBG. Appreciate it. If you want to play games with me, then come and play in our custom games tomorrow when we're playing custom games with our viewers. Which is you guys. Please don't shoot me, friend. I just got a game on Erin Gore. We have bot viewers now. What time are we starting customs? Uh, about one o'clock. About one o'clock UK. Aaron got a serious PUBG. This is serious PUBG, lads and ladies. One in chat if you're a bot. Oh, Max a bot. We've got a bot. Where's tuberculosis? Is he here? Is you in chat, tube? One. Oh, oh, one. Oh, oh, one. The humans are dead. We poison their asses with poisonous gases. Um, let's go down here. Mine should play customs tomorrow as there's no work. Excellent. I mean, yeah, see you get on. I imagine if you're in the UK, you might want to go and, you know, sit in the garden because the weather's meant to be pretty nice. That's what I'd be doing if I wasn't streaming tomorrow. I need, I need bag and hat. Thank you. Don't need a bag. We got beer in the fridge ready for tomorrow. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm hoping the weather holds out for, uh, for Sundays, uh, for Saturday, so I can uh, enjoy a bit of the garden. It's really, I sat out there when I had my lunch today. It was really nice. Super nice today. Super warm. So warm. Oh, oh it's so warm. Oh, hey. Hey. Uh, right, we are not following the crate game rules here. We need to, we need to bust our ass to the middle of this zone. Sharpish. How do we get involved in the customs on Friday? You come along to the stream and you watch the stream and we tell you how to join them. Easy. Too early for a beer, gotta have, have a mimosa instead. Yeah, it's not a bad shout. It's that easy. It is that easy. Check out The Beard Guys custom games every Friday on twitch.tv slash thebeardguys. It's that easy. You guys are amazing. Thanks, Dutch. I appreciate that. You're amazing. You, Dutch. You're amazing. I feel like that guy who just cheesed it on the bike is definitely copying my my strat here. Because <laughs> he dropped to the crate game compound and now he's like busted it to middle of the zone on a bike. I know what you're up to. I know what you're doing. Okay, just heard his bike there. 
Oh, we got company. Sounded like the Silit Bang guy. Hi, I'm Barry Scott. That guy. That guy just drove his bike into the water. That's not going to help the situation. We're coming in hot! I was hoping it'd like land on the top of that thing, would have been pretty cool. There you go. I'm Larry Scott. Hi, I'm Larry Scott. I saw a guy over there for a sec. We got an orm, boys! We got an orm! Guy should have gone for your tires, kept you there. Well, maybe he was. He didn't really land many shots, did he? He was just kind of, you know, trying to figure out the situation. We were we were in and out nice and quick. Hey. Sure, why not? Nice view account. Thanks, Dr. Cold. We're on the Twitch front page, hence the ridiculous view account. Need some fiveies. I dropped my fives? Did I drop fives? I thought it does feel like I don't have much. Did I dump my fives? Thanks, chat. Oh, God, it's good you're here, chat. I don't say enough, but it's pretty handy you're here. Wouldn't know what I'd do without you. Probably about the same, I suppose. Just talk to myself. Hi, Mom! What's up, Jabo? Where are you? Where did I, where did I dump shit? Where did I even... Where... I didn't drop my fives. What are you talking about? You're useless. You're dead to me. <laughs> I dropped my sevens. I thought I had more. Did I drop some of the crate or something? It's fine. Got 120 now. Just the clippage, Mac. Bad chat. Bad chat. You're all grounded. You're all banned. All of chat is banned. Forever. I'm sorry it had to be like this. I didn't want to do it, but, you know, it's gone too far. The banter's gone too far. Uh, you're all banned. You can just see yourselves out. Uh, you know, form an orderly queue. I'll see you on Mixer. It's where we're going to stream now. There's always there's one person who spoils it for everyone. I just wanted to see that sexy booty run in there one more time. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Imagine if everyone just left. Yeah, it'd be, a, be something, wouldn't it? Quite the social experiment. Let's get the orm out and, like, drive by orm someone, right? Maybe. What's up, preschool? Hey, doing? Just make sure you keep two meters apart when leaving. Exactly, exactly. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, with the circles kind of north, I was just think we could find any lads, really, any Larrys, any Larrys running around in the open. I 
What's up, Sam? How you doing? Have I seen the majestic moose? I have not seen the majestic moose. I mean, if anything, we have more viewers now than when I told everyone to leave. So, you know, people aren't people aren't paying attention. Oh, rock slide. If you're say we gang together and ban the beard guys you. from his own channel. Look, we can't know. Just, I don't want some sort of mutiny situation here. Thanks, ben. Um, um, Deadhead Medic, thank you for the 15 months, mate. Ah, appreciate that. Appreciate that. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you for the support. Nearly up at 50 subs today. Big old sub day. Let's set up beard guys on that other platform. That's right, I've already got the account name, you know, just for when Mixer, like, you know, they're, I, they're just trying to find our phone number. But when they when they dig it out and they give us that call and they're like, here's your sweet Mixer paycheck. Here's, you know, here's a million bucks. Please, please, beard guys, please come and stream on Twit on Mixer. I'll be like, yeah, sure. Thanks for the million bucks. We will attempt to earn you that money back over the course of the next uh, 90 to 100 years of streaming. Playing the long game. He's ghastly. Brian, gifting out the sub to Witty. Cheers, Brian. I'm Appreciate it, mate. A million quid is only 618 US dollars. That's a million dong. Uh, cheers, JSTOCK. We're sitting on the Twitch front page. That's why we've got a crazy amount of viewers. We don't always have this many viewers, but thank you. Take the cash, stream one day, then back to Twitch. I think they probably think it through a little bit further than that, to be honest, Matt. I'm not... I don't know for certain, but I imagine there may be some kind of contract situation... Uh, involved, you know. Gone, gone through the whole circle with some in it. Just chatting a load of bollocks. Driven the old circle. I hear a guy behind. Where is he? There he is. We weren't far off hitting him with the orm, really, were we? He all went a bit tits up. I went into first person by accident. What a palaver. It's fine. We're not dead. Bring me a... Buy me a drink before the dong. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, This guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. Bye-bye. This guy. This guy. This guy. You can keep your M249. Didn't do you many favours there. Venom Pants. That's my damn friend. Ah, no worries, Infected. GG, Mr. Venom Pants. We got ya. Where's his pants? There we go. We put, we're wearing Venom Pants as pants. The ultimate shame. Let's go for a walk. Pan design looks like a big nappy. <laughs> yeah, it does look a bit weird, doesn't it? I like it though. Sign the contract as Minnie Mouse. M Mouse. I do it quite a lot. The same initials. Wow, man, Matt, just absolute genius. If only like Ninja had thought of that. I told him if he can dodge a wrench, he can play PUBG. I guess I was wrong.
What's up, Kev? How you doing? Uh, I don't know. If I can restream it, then we'll put it on. But we'll have to have a look and see if there's lots of other people restreaming it. Me. That's how you check things, right? Sing, thanks so much for the gifted sub to the land shark. Just Sinky. Yeah, I don't know. I might turn it on for a bit and see if it's, like, you know, good. If we're allowed to. What's up, Dmart? we got to finish this game first, anyway. It's just going to be, like, start out with, like, an eight-minute Halo trailer or something. No one gives a crap about Halo, right? You don't need to see the beginning. Just tell me when Rust is on. <laughs> Or if they say anything about PUBG. What's up, Joel? How you doing? When did we get more than 50 viewers? Uh, probably about four or five years ago. You love Halo? No one loves Halo, Brian. What are you talking about? It's a dead game. It's a dead franchise. Did I see Ninja get roasted by late Lady Gaga? I... Did not see that. Clearly, I'm not reading the right gossip mags. You're a dead franchise. Your mom's a dead franchise. Your ma, Sellers Avon. Live stream on Facebook? It's been live streamed everywhere. It's surely. Surely it'll be on like all their platforms. She talked about gaming, so he replied. God, I've sorry, I lost interest halfway through that sentence, to be honest. I'm sure it's good, though. I will not have someone bashing Halo. Have we looked up um, that alleged... The guy you killed with the Uzi in the little hut was a bot? I just checked. We got to look. We got to look. That was a, that was a, we may have found a bot that jumped. We may have found a jumping bot and we have, may have blown open the whole world of PUBG bots here. Mac, I forgot to look. What well done, He's Mac. ghastly. I have absolutely repulsed him. I think I'd had to kick him straight over the bloody moon. You're evolving. And they're driving. This guy's you're a bot all day. <laughs> Come here, you bot. Martin Owens killed that poor bot. No need, Martin. You're going to loot him, Mart. What's up, Alex? How you doing? Unlucky Mark. Not a bot. And probably on Twitch, I'd imagine, as well, Murderface. Or are they just doing it on YouTube? You know he just jumped in his seat here, yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Well, thank you to everyone for hanging out on the Twitch front page today. We're going to be dropping off it in a sec, but it's uh, lovely to lovely to get to chat with so many new people today. Hope you enjoyed uh, the part of the stream you caught on the front page. If you did, give it a follow. Jump over to chat. Hang about. We'll be streaming for a little while yet. Might try and check out the old uh, Xbox like Series X announcement stream or whatever. Martin Owens just broke his monitor. Poor Martin. Martin, what happened? When does that happen? The Xboxy thing in a minute. Literally in a minute. I think they're going to show like... I don't know if they're showing... I guess it'll be like gameplay trailers and stuff. And they're announcing like titles that are going to be on the... Oh, is it? Oh, not glad at that. Oh. Uh, you know, titles that are going to be on the Series X. Sometimes these things are interesting, and a lot of the time, they're deeply dull with a few trailers, so we'll see. It will start out, and there'll be, like, a load of random games you don't care about, and someone giving a speech that's just really cringe. Will I be streaming Ark? 
Uh, yeah, I'll probably play a bit of Ark um, after this Xboxy revealy whatever it is, you know, that thing. First, we have to finish this game. Then we have to. Are you a bot? No, you're not a bot. There we go. Uh, yeah, first we have to finish this game. Then we have to steal the underpants. Then we have to make profit. Uh, and then we have to check if that guy was actually a bot. We'll have to look at the little PUBG report and see what the crack is. Mr. Heady. Got a nice hit. My vest is shagged, though. Thanks, Murderface. I mean, people can find it. I know it's useful information to share, but you don't need to, like, actively, every other line of chat, tell people to leave the stream. <laughs> Let's go find someone to shoot. Call that a gun. He had a bit of a nice bit of movement, didn't he? Did you hear about the customization for Cyberpunks? I don't know what that is. Oh, what, the, uh, the, the Cyberpunk game, you mean? This guy's got a... Get in it! Woo! That was a... Pretty nice headshot, wasn't it? Would have been even nicer if we got that guy as well. Can you imagine? I think he went in that building? I didn't even think I'd lined up the headshot. I thought I assumed I'd killed him with a body shot, that I'd like he was still hurt or something. But yeah, that was a that was a heady. No vest. Oh yeah, thanks. I've shot this guy in the chest with an orm. I can't imagine he's got much of a vest either. It's kind of weighing up. Yeah, might as well wait and kill this guy first. I think. He's so close to peeking here. I think maybe we'll try and kill this guy and take his vest. Because we know that guy's vest is really shagged anyway. Unless he found another one, right? I guess he found another lad. Did someone just... Someone in that building, maybe? I don't know. Let's see what we can do. The headshot guy should have a vest. Well, I just, I'd previously shot him with the, uh, with the orm in the chest. And it's really open running over there. Sure, we'll do what chat wants. So many M249s in the game. Yeah, there's a few knocking around, aren't there? Where did I kill him? A vest. An orm in the chest. Say bye bye to your vest. There's a UAZ that guy can use if he needs. Four minutes past, have they announced um, PUBG 2 yet? I heard PUBG 2 is getting announced. Have another go. <sighs> we found another Orm. <laughs>
Barely even hurt. Barely even hurt. I got cocky standing still. I was like, well, no How one can one tap me the unless they have an orm, but he had an orm. <laughs> Shit. Wouldn't normally stand so still, but, you know, level three helmet. I'll give it a punt. Uh, yours truly, thank you very much for the 500 bits. My orm, bro, I know. Killed by my orm, bro. The humanity.